Hello and welcome to this Sutton Anatomy Hub video covering the prostate gland, the seminal vesicles and the vas or ductus deferens. These are some key structures that form part of the male reproductive system that sit inside the pelvis and in order to discuss their basic anatomy and function we are going to draw on a posterior view of those structures and we can start off by labelling the most superior structure at the top which is the urinary bladder not essential to our story here but it does have an anatomical relationship with structures that are namely the prostate this is a fibromuscular glandular organ which lies between the neck of the bladder and the urogenital diaphragm the blood supply is via the inferior vesicle and middle rectal arteries the nerve supply is via the inferior hypogastric plexus lymphatic drainage from the area comes via the internal iliac nodes the main job of the prostate is to secrete prostatic fluid and this makes up about 30 to 35 percent of the semen ejaculate it's very alkaline and its job is to help the sperm survive in a very acidic vaginal environment the next structures are the seminal vesicles there's two of those one on each side they are lobulated organs and have a terminal part related to the vas or ductus deferens and essentially they join to form the ejaculatory duct the seminal vesicles produce a fluid the secretions that it produces are essential for the nourishment of sperm next we can label the ureta and the ureta is obviously associated with the bladder and superior to that we have the ductus or vas deferens if you are ever in trouble trying to tell them apart in the laboratory just trace the ductus deferens all the way towards the deep inguinal ring we should lose sight of it as it travels through the inguinal canal inferiorly you can trace it towards the prostate and you will notice that the widened end of the ductus deferens swells up and has a special name and that name is called the ampulla of the ductus deferens so here we can see on this diagram how the ampulla joins with the terminal end of the seminal vesicles to form the origin of the ejaculatory duct now we can't see that particularly well using this view this posterior view of the prostate and the seminal vesicles but if we look at a cross-section view then we will be able to see exactly how the ejaculatory duct joins to form the prostatic part of the urethra so coming on screen now we have a cross-sectional diagram which shows exactly what I'm talking about it shows the ejaculatory duct joining with the prostatic urethra and then the urethra continuing as the membranous urethra through the perineal membrane so that pretty much summarizes everything that I want to say about those structures bye for now